Dr. Bungiseni Jaume. Now, let's get more on this uh, story. I'm joined now by our reporter, Pule Lichwiti Jones, who's on the ground in Tswane and following these developments. Uh, Pule, good afternoon. Where, where are you at now and what's the latest you can tell us? We understand now the death toll is at 15 people and scores more people. I don't know if there's an exact number of how many have now been hospitalized due to this cholera outbreak. <laughs> Definitely, what we understand right now is that the the provincial government and national government saying they will be establishing a command center which will of course coordinate the interventions of this whole outbreak. Uh, we now understand the death toll has now risen to 15. Um, but residents were quite upset earlier on uh, chasing away the mayor from the area saying that he's let them down and that the DA-led uh, coalition has failed to listen to some of their demands. I had spoken to some of the two families who lost their loved ones during this outbreak were saying that they are given stated and that what pains them even more is that they had been trying to you know blow the whistle earlier about the uh, contaminated water in Hamaskral which has been affecting them the South African Human Rights Commission also um, you know raising the alarm back in 2019 saying that this water was not fit for consumption but to understand what has been done and measures put in place to address the situation I'm speaking to the MMC for utility services Mr. Tim Forsey. Thank you very much for chatting to us um, afternoon, Mr. Forsey. Now, let's start off by saying what is the latest in terms of the Temba water treatment plant? Has it now been looked into? What else are you looking into? I can confirm to you, Pule, that um, the Temba water treatment plant is safe and is tested negative for the um, coronavirus, uh, cholera um, um, remnants, and um, we have gone as far as um, testing other areas, even our reserv um, reservoirs, to make sure <clears throat> that the proper due diligence is done, and um, as I can tell you that, all tested um, negative. Are you now looking at the source? Yes, um, what, what, what is currently happening now is that on Wednesday we should be able to get um, a conclusive um, um, report as to where the source is, then only can we um, know where to narrow down our um, intervention. What do you make of the uh, Deputy Minister of Water and Sanitation, Mr. Mashwab, was saying previously a team of MMCs and the Mayor had defaulted in the agreements they had with the, the government as well. Are, is this team consistently looking into working with national government to resolve this issue? I think um, this, um, um, the Mayor made it very clear during our soccer that we, we, we do want um, water and sanitation to intervene. We do want to partner with them on this project, obviously in the future. Um, they are our, 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 our our competency in so far as water is concerned, so we can't then chuck them away. Let's, I think what's more important is that we should um, create a relationship from here on, because the mayor has made it clear. We met with the um, minister of uh, water in Cape Town to um, um, uh, strengthen this, and he made commitments that he will get his technical team to be able to assist us and get us uh, out of this quagmire. You, you had in the utility services portfolio, you in that department. What would have led to this delay so far, supposed to say, the South African Human Rights Commission previously also said the water was not fit for consumption. Do you understand what would have led to this delay of this issue not having been resolved previously? Remember, Pule, this is 16 years um, ago. started 16 years ago, I mean, if you, if you recall, and then we came into power. We're not defensive. We came into power 2016, and then during that time, um, there's been a mix there, pulling of chairs and all of that, getting new mayor and all of that. We've also been put under administration for nefarious reasons. <clears throat> And to, to that extent, we also now have a report, a forensic report of what has happened there, which the mayor is um, um, the city manager and uh, the mayor are deliberating on, on what steps to take of exactly what has happened to the contractor that was appointed on phase one to finish off uh, before we get into phase two. Was it procurement issues, like the ministers were saying? Yes, most definitely. It was supply chain issues and obviously to a great extent, not delivering. I yeah. mean, we, we, we know it's already corruption around the country and uh, we, we're not oblivious to that. So um, we do have a forensic report on that and then which um, actions will be taken from here on us. Just lastly, before you leave, where's the mayor? I mean, he was, he was chucked out by the residents. Uh, what, what year from now on? 
It, that is just being simplistic and politicking. Uh, I think um, if we want the mayor to um, work hand in hand with the communities and uh, national government, you need to allow the man to be here so that he can be able to put his interventions and he can unlock quite a number of things which I can't as, 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 as an MMC. So I think it, I, I mean, we can see um, um, around here, this was perpetuated by um, local guys trying to, we cannot live in a society where there's a certain sector of people that can go to this community and that can uh, that, that that who cannot go to a certain community, so it, it, it's a high time we take out politics. Remember, what has happened here? Ten people died. So oh, if fifteen, we, yeah. It's, now it's fifteen. Yeah. So we can't then allow people to uh, uh, um, masquerade to 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 politics on a petty uh, a petty politics of of, of, of of local government. We need to come to party and make sure that we support the, the families that have lost their loved ones and make sure that we get out of this quagmire. Thank you very much, MMC for Utility Services, Temba 4C. They're giving us an update regarding the situation, saying that uh, they need to work as a team in terms of resolving this issue. But most importantly, they're saying the community should allow the mayor to come into the area and work with them and try and resolve this issue. But pretend, you and I know this is one challenging you know, crisis that's been at play here for quite some time, for years. We speak to residents who moved in here to, in Hamas from about 1984, who were saying that this is one issue that has not been tackled head on. So despite the politics, they just want government to come in and ensure that they can have residents have access to clean running water. You know, Pule, one would have thought uh, water, waste water management is pretty a straightforward matter. But you are quite right. This smacks like uh, political failure to some degree. I mean, 30 years nearly into a democracy, people of Hamanskral have to suffer like this.